You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I appreciate it. Hopefully you're into a haul video like this. I've called it bin day in the past. Uh, there are two bins, plus a whole stack to the right. Some of it still has pricing on it. Some of it doesn't. Some of it I got for free. Uh, what happens is people know what I do. And then they clear out some games and say, do you want these games? And I usually say, well, I always say yes, I'll take them because uh, it's a nice addition to my collection. And then I also make these videos so that you could tell me, hey, I want to see that RC Ferrari 27 on its own video. And I will try to get to that as quick as possible. Sometimes I don't. Honestly, I can, I move around in my collection and I totally forget about it. But here we go. I have tons to show you. So let's start with the stack on the right, and then I will move through the bins. It's gonna be a long video, hopefully you enjoy it. All right, this is the first item. Let's check out the box, because rarely do you see a Tom Thumb cash register in the original box. And the box, surprisingly, besides a rip, or a little tear here or there, is in pretty good shape. Now this guy, I don't know if he paid that, or if that's what he was selling it for. I didn't buy it for that. Uh, he gave me a pretty good deal on it because he was older. You could just tell sometimes. All right, when I see that it's going to pull off the stuff with it, I will trim the tape and leave the tape on there. Sometimes they just uh, they just want to move things out of their collection and find somebody that enjoys the item. All right, so Tom Thumb. There's another sticker here. I don't know what that's from. It's something. Yeah, maybe it says Toys R Us. Okay, so this is probably... Let's see, is there a year on this one? There is not a year. Well, what caught my eye was when I first opened it. I was like, oh boy, this is pretty cool. And then I saw that. Does that not look like a chunk of real cash? It is not. What really caught my eye was that the cash doesn't necessarily come with a Tom Thumb. So for me, I like collecting different money like this. So to see all this play money, and it's pretty old. It's pretty cool. Now there's also some change change. Some in the bottom of the box. Ooh, that's pretty dirty. Didn't want to do that. So let me put that there. There's change inside. It looks like it's been sitting somewhere where it's pretty dirty. So you push this, it opens. I, I'm thinking, I don't know, let me see. Yeah, that there might be stuff that's in there. Sometimes it gets through here into the actual toy. But this is aluminum. So I'm wondering if this came with it. Did it say anywhere? It shows coins on the box. So I bet you it came with a bunch of coins. And I'm guessing it's the aluminum ones. So there's those. There's these smaller ones. And then 25 cents. Play money, it says. This says, let's see, Universal Cash. These green ones say Tom Thumb. All right, so now I know. It's the green ones that came with it, which you normally don't see with these cash registers. And there's quite a bit, actually. It's been separated from the two. So you get the cash register with no coin. So that's pretty cool to see. This pink one, I don't know what it is. It just looks like a tiddlywink. All right, so let me move this cash out of the way. Our change. Let me take out some of the cash. And I didn't take a close look at it. This does say play money 100. This note is for children. Okay, and then you have a bunch of this. 20. It just has that feel of older money. And this lighter green stuff looks like that last stuff, but let's see. Not negotiable play money. One. I don't see anything on there that says Tom Thumb. Play money, play money. And then look. I don't know, this, whoever, whatever kid had this or collector, I mean, look at it all. It's in fives. I don't know what this money went to. Oh, cool, look at that one. Did someone print that? It says 50 grand. Tainted counterfeit. I've never seen money like this, so for me, ooh, it says Whitman Publishing on there. I'll do a little research on that. 
So there's $5 bills. There's another one with blue in it. So like I said, I don't know much about play money. I have a bunch. A ton. But nothing like this. And it has that smell. I don't know if you've watched some of my um, Easy Bake videos. Or the older mixes. This is the smell I'm talking about when I say, hmm. Okay, that's quite a bit of money. So there's 20s. 50 grand. Alright, so this. Yeah, okay. So let's just see. Let's just see if I can... Well, there is something in there. That's what always makes me curious. It's like... I feel like it's hitting the drawer. I don't know. I'll have to investigate that. All right, so what do you do? Well, you press your amount. So this says no sale. And then inside there... Can you see that? Look all the way in there. Let me get a light adjustment. I'm spending more time with this than other... Items just because I don't know, I'm fascinated by it. Okay, one cent, five cent, ten, fifty, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, and then the last one says one dollar. And to find it with all of the information on the little keys, because these are usually played with so much you don't see the actual numbers on there. So I'm gonna say overall. It's probably one of the best condition ones I've ever seen. I've shown maybe one or two on video. They didn't have the money. They didn't have the box. But overall, I would say it's a pretty cool item. All right, let me clean this all up. Let me get this out of the way. I'll put this behind me. Let's check out the next item. Now, when I saw this next item, I grabbed it. Same, same seller. There was no price on it. It is a radio-controlled Ferrari 27. I saw it, I opened it up, and I say to myself, oh boy, it looks like it's never been out of the box. It's still taped here. Uh, I didn't have a lot of time to completely investigate the batteries. I didn't look, yeah, clean. It looks to be in excellent shape. Let's see, oh, excellent. It does look played with. So they must have retaped that. There is some play there. A couple of scratches here and there, but overall, I think it's gonna run great. We will see. Let me know if you wanna see this on a video. I have shown a few of these. I actually have a couple of these Radio Shack cars. Let me get that in there. Very cool. Complete original, in the box, box is in okay shape. I mean, I look at all these things as quick as I can when I'm out looking. And then uh, I make a quick determination. All right, that's something that'll be cool on video. All right, the next item I paid $2 for, found out it is not complete. I will need to get this sticker off. The best way to do this is to heat it up. So I'll do that at another date. This is Pictionary first edition. Now, I found out that it's missing uh, the pencils and one black piece. Everything else is complete. There was extra cards in there, so I know that's good. There's one notepad. There should be four. Other than that, game board, one-minute timer, 500 cards. It was 500 and something. The die, and then four markers, four category cards, which are here. Here's the four categories. One, two, three, four. Four pads of paper and four pencils. Now, I'm not too worried about... The paper and the pencils, it's always nice to have them, but, you know, that's something that isn't going to make or break a game for me. Okay. Now, you will see this here. Picture in picture. I got this for free. This is what they're selling for right now. It's a golden game. I don't know much about picture in picture, but it was complete. It has a stand in here, and it's got some pictures. And I think... You're basically looking at a picture and seeing what's in the picture, right? So what's on this side? I don't know if it's the same. So if you've played this game and you're like, oh, I love picture in picture, tell me a little bit about it. So you do the research. It had the instructions. It had the game board. It had some great pictures in there. Like, are you looking at the picture object? Well, looking at the frame picture, players must identify objects and quickly fill in the alphabetized blanks on their sheet. Okay, that I don't know if it's in here on their sheet. Oh, here we go. So it looks like someone actually reprinted the sheets. I'm curious about the game board, though. 
I do like looking at game boards. I didn't check out the Pictionary game board, but check that out. Okay, interesting looking game. Have you played picture in picture? Now I'm curious about the Pictionary game board. Oh, I gotta check it out. So things will come in like this. I will verify exactly what they're worth. Okay, I promise you I will show all the game boards after this. Did I open the game board? I don't remember. Oh, I did. I didn't do this though. So you'll be moving around the game board, start, finish. I've never really played picture in picture. I've heard it's a fun game. And there's many iterations of this. This is the first edition from 1987. Let's just set that one on top of that one. Uh, this one's called Split Second. I don't know about this one either. It was all in good shape. Didn't pay anything for it. 197 cards. So I've already counted the cards. One sold for $30 with $15 shipping. So we kind of have an idea what the game is worth. I don't know if that's the right number of cards because it just says labels, no slip pads and rubber bands, box of questions and answers. It doesn't tell you how many. There's a die and six wipe off crayons which are in here. See? And the little feeder in there and the die. So uh, it's a complete game with the instructions. Do you want to see it? Well, let me know. Uh, this is a Parker Brothers game. This video is going to take a while. Uh, from 1992. Look at that. So it sets up like each person has their little paddle. They probably write something in there in a split second. You have a split second to make your decision. Okay, this I picked up today. Uh, I thought, hmm, you don't see many things like this, Mattel, in the original box. So I quickly, it's hard to do because a lot of times you have other buyers around 1975. And they're on your shoulder like, hmm, is he going to take it? Is he not going to take it? But when I looked at it, I double checked all the characters on the front. And it looks like things move. And this is hard to do in some places. This place was just jam-packed with stuff. I couldn't, I had no place to actually completely set it up. Which is what I like to do. I noticed this guy had the pink on his head and it looks like they have like some kind of wind up moving feature so I thought that would be cool and it's pink on his head because he's supposed to have a hat so it had all the characters this look a little worn on the top the US mail but other than that oh I see you turn this and it's gonna move it's moving this back here so I like these kinds of things I'm not gonna put this back in the box but you can see it now. This is the other side of the box. I'm just curious. Maybe you had this. I don't know. Number 9311, 1975. It's called Hubbub's Happy Hollow. So let me move this out of the way. And you can look at that while I turn around. Put this down back here. This. My daughter, Audrey, saw this at a thrift store or a garage sale. I want to say it was four dollars. So right away, is it all there? She didn't completely look, but happy to report it's complete and it's original. And for four dollars, you can't beat it. Had the instructions. Had this cool base. I don't even know, maybe there was batteries in it. I did not check the battery compartment yet. And then all the pieces. I verified all the ships are there, all the pieces are there. Oh, there's one right there. So it looks pretty cool. I can't wait to check it out. That would be a fun one to play on video. What do you think? All right, let me grab a bin now. I wish I could show you them in more detail, but there's so much here. So for four bucks, pretty good deal. Two bucks for the Pictionary, and then the Ferrari, the Tab Thumb, and some other items I'll show you were all in a bulk big purchase with some tools and other stuff that I needed. So, not showing you the tools. All right, I'll be right back.
Now, if there's a repeat here, there's a chance I bought two of the same thing or I had shown it from a previous video and got put in the wrong spot. But here is Racco, still sealed. This is from 1997. Can you believe it? Someone bought it and never took it out of the packaging. So, don't know what I'm going to do with Racco. And then this is a video game. This was free. Everything here was free. These were not. I'll set these off to the side. I'll show you these after, but these look really cool. And right on there was the price. So this is a game called Scoreword. The fascinating new crossword game crazed. I don't know if it's complete. It looks like a transogram game because it says transogram. I have not looked. There is a game board. However, it's going to make a mess. Well, I could take it out. Let's make a mess. Oh, there's the instructions and more pieces. Okay, that's a good sign. So, rules for playing the game. Careers. Rules for playing the game of careers. Wait a minute. It looks like they're instructions for a different game. Okay, this is the game for here. This looks like a totally different game. Good to know. And then here is the board, and it's a little beat up, kind of a basic game board, but now i got to clean this all up. So let me do that right now. Banzogram. I'll have to check. It looks like an older game, that's for sure. I should have looked at the sheet, that's probably what it said on there. How old exactly this game is? I guess it's 60s, but no, no date, no date. Hmm. It looks interesting. Let's check the box cover real quick. It's advertised in Life magazine. Okay, no other information on it. You must dig deeper. Maybe it's on the box back. Nope, not there. All right, so that's that. I, I've seen Parcheesi so many times. I've never played Parcheesi. 1974 Western Publishing. Free. Looks complete. This was someone that uh, a family member had passed away and they had a bunch of games in their basement and they asked me if I wanted them and I said gladly can I give you anything for them and they didn't want anything they just wanted them to go to a good home okay this is called turn tiles an exciting word game from 1986 and looks complete it's got that I don't see instructions are they on the inside they are on the inside the timer is there Looks like there's plenty of tiles. I have not counted them, so that's something I'll have to do at a later date. No game board that I see. It just looks like you're playing with tiles. There. Players alternate turns and have one minute to form words crossword fashion. Crossword fashion by adding and or changing letters to those already on the board so as to form a new word. Okay. So Wednesday, WED, player one puts down the word wed. Player two turns the D over to a B, and now he has busy. Hmm. Okay, here's a sealed game called Oodles, the game you can't get enough of. Don't know anything about it. Uh, it requires batteries. It's from 1992. The game you can't get enough of. Use your noodle to oodle. Enjoy thousands of irresistible addictive oodlers. Hmm. You can oodle right now. The letter is B. See how many oodlers you can guess. Tiny Mistake or Yogi's Buddy? Oh, hey, hey, boo, boo, boo. So I get it. Breathtaking Party Decorations. Balloons. All right. Now this one I have checked. Now I, I thought I showed this to you on a video. Let me know. It is Electronic Talking Clue. I actually checked this one because I was going to play this with the kids. 2003. It looked cool. Of course, it's not the original Clue, but it was working electronic and it's a pretty involved game board so I cannot take it out 
but it was all here. And then it talks to you when you press buttons and do certain things. I didn't know, I don't know how to turn it on, but if I could, I would show you. I don't remember. I just remember testing it and it worked. Maybe it's back here. Yes. Okay, and then you press your characters, and then... Is Lord, is Lord Greg, is Lord Greg, is Lord Greg playing? Okay, so that would be a pretty involved game. It's complete. Is Lord I'm Greg not going to take Greg. the rest of the board game out on that one. Okay, and then I have two more. Now that's going to be playing. I don't know. It looked like it'd be a fun game. Okay. It's Lord Grey, yes. Alright, and then two more in this bin. We have a game called Cribbage Dusty. It was free. High hand cribbage board. It just looked really cool when I saw this. Uh, is there a year? Let me see. The pieces, I think, are inside, yes. Made in the USA. I don't know how it opens. It must be the cards. Yes, it's a cool deck of cards. And then little playing pieces are in there. See that in there? I don't know if it's complete. But when you see two green, two white. Oh, three green, three white, three black. So it's a good indication that it, this is a complete game. All right, I'll have to put that back together later. Okay. High hand cribbage. Another free game. And then this one here is called Initial Response. Anybody? Anybody know this game? Uh, almost a quarter. Okay. Just how many movie or TV stars, professional athletes, politicians, or cartoon characters do you know? Okay, so it's kind of some, some kind of guessing game. I don't know if it's complete. Here's the board. So it has two spinners on it. That's pretty cool. Pencils and little pads. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let me get this out of the way, and then let me check out the last bin, and then I'll show you those electronic items. Okay, so, as you see, I bought more handheld games. It, it's, I hate to say it's an addiction, but I probably have 200 plus now. I hate to say it. They're in bins, and probably 50% of them you haven't seen. But when I saw 50 cents, I said, I'll buy them. I don't know if they work, but they had the instructions. They look very clean. The fact that they're taped, it doesn't bother me on the instructions because it should come off. It's like a older scotch tape. 1991, come on, 50 cents, wouldn't you buy them? 1992 and mini golf. I was totally enthralled by this. Let me, let me see. I've got some batteries here. I've never seen a Tiger mini golf. That's exciting. So I'll probably never stop buying handheld games. Ooh, ooh, ah, let's see. Okay, on. Okay, thank you, the instructions. That was really nice of somebody. Course one, course two, course three, all right. Start. Okay, ooh, there's, I don't know what I'm swinging at. Okay, so there's the direction indicator. I know you don't see it, but here we go. And putt. Oh, so I'm trying to putt through those. I landed way over here. Oh, that's bad. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, okay, let's start that one. Well, I'll tell you what, let's just see if one of these turns out. No batteries. Let me just take them out of here. Now this next bin is loaded with little eclectic stuff and some Lego, which I got for free. Now when people give me stuff for free, I always offer them money. And most of the time they just want it, like I said, they want stuff to go to a good place. And they know I will take care of it. Start. Oh, I'm a fish. I'm jumping. I'm a, like a like a dolphin of sorts. Look at that. Swim, swim. 
that's my tail. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing, but it works. That's a good sign. Anytime handhelds work, I'm happy. Okay, enough of those. Let's get into the bin. There's Aladdin. I'm assuming it works. These work, so they probably came from a good home. They've been around for a while in someone's collection or bin drawer or some junk drawer. All right, so this is a little eclectic mix here. Uh, now this is kind of odd, but believe it or not, this was three bucks for this set and this set sells for 30 bucks. It's not something that I'm gonna probably keep. So I do need to kind of sell stuff to make my investment back. Okay, $1.50, I got this at a thrift store today. It worked, so I was pretty excited about that. You just tilt it. At least that's how I think it works. This guy, he doesn't do anything. He's locked in and set. So you just kind of open, twist out your M&Ms, and then go for it. You know I like M&Ms or any kind of candy dispensers. Well, let's stay on the candy dispenser theme. This one's $1.50, and you press the button. And then it spins the thing around, drops out into the little tray area there. Don't know, I, I've seen them, I just don't know how old these are. Okay, now this one's pretty unique. This is from the guy I told you about a bunch of stuff from. It's a Victory Artistic Plywood Jigsaw Puzzle, made in England. It's got 600 pieces, about 600 pieces. It's Silent Sentinel, landscape 20 by 16. No guide, picture, or illustration is provided with this gold box victory jigsaw puzzle. But the pieces are beautiful. They're really neat looking. All unique shapes. So I hope it's there. I have a mission to get it made, just to confirm. I have a large collection of puzzles. Now some I keep, some I do not. This one, I have not decided what to do with it yet. I do want to make it though. That's the only way you'll know if a puzzle is complete. Now this is just something. Chuck E. Cheese, it was a dollar. Sparrow's Nest. I did not pick that up. Somebody else did. Uh, Spill Spell. Don't know anything about Spill Spell. I might have showed this on video. I don't know. It just looked interesting. So I'm pretty sure it's complete. It's got the timer. It's got the base. I don't, oh, and the instructions, various play methods. It looks like somebody played it. I was looking at, I always like looking at what other people have written down. Matt and Amy and Mom. This says, Mom, Kathy, Tara. Oh, look who won. Mom whooped them all. Close, though. Kathy hopped in there, but Tara or Tara, nope. She lost. Parker Brothers, 1957. Now, I don't know if it's this game. And then let's see. Okay, so it has letter dice. And it does not say on the box exactly what it's about. I'm guessing you're just making words. You spill them and you spell them. Spill and Spell is a word game for any number of players. To start the game, each player throws the same cube and the one having the letter nearest to A, okay. He then makes words using the letters showing on the top surface of the cubes. Okay. You know, I might have played this. I don't remember. It looks familiar. Okay, another free game. Sealed, Gone with the Wind, the game. I don't know anything about it. 1993, not much I can show you because it is sealed. Okay, this I bought today for a buck. This I really wanted. It's a flapping bald eagle. Now I showed you a bird. You attach it to the ceiling, you turn it on and it flies. It's really cool. So I'm hoping you want to see that. Let me know if you want to see that, hint, hint, because I want to show that one on video. All right, the last item in this little box is this. Look at this. A bin of Legos, which I got free. I tell you that just so that you know that people do give me stuff and they just want me to have it, like I said. Uh, so I have sorted some of this. This is the figures that were in here. And there is Lego, there's Mega Blocks, and I took out all the miscellaneous stuff like crayons and pieces of plastic. 
just look at these. Maybe you can help me with these. This is kind of the, the characters. I have not really found the missing pieces to these characters. This looks like an older one from the like Formula One cars. It's just weird that it would be in this set. There's a couple little Star Wars figures, construction guys. This guy, I don't know who this guy is. So nothing of real super duper value in this, but I started sorting it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it just yet. Uh, but look at all the Legos. It's a big bin. I have not done much with it. It looks like there's some Star Wars in here with the gray. You have a couple of weapons here and there. A lot of pieces. This is definitely Mega Blocks. That's Mega Blocks. This purple looks like Mega Blocks. And then, of course, there's a lot of Lego in here. But it's a pretty big bin. Um, and maybe this original set is in there. I don't know. I really don't. All right. Whew, that was a lot of stuff. So what do you want to see? You got to let me know. If there's a particular game you had and you want to learn about it, uh, or didn't have and want to learn about it, let me know. Uh, and there you go. It's bin day. Double bin day with a ton of other stuff. And what item was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching Lucky Penny Shop. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.